Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Roblox game from scratch in just 15 minutes, 2020 edition, okay? So let's get started. Alright, so first things first, you need to make sure you actually have Roblox Studio installed, which is actually where you make Roblox games, okay? All Roblox games are made here, so that's how you make them. Okay, so first things first, we need to install that. And if you don't have it installed, you can go ahead and go to roblox.com slash create and then hit start creating. And what's gonna happen is it'll search for it. And if it has it, then you can just open it. But if it doesn't have it, then it'll download it. So yeah, definitely something you wanna do uh, if you wanna make the games, obviously. Now I will leave a, now I will leave a link to this description. Now there will be a link to this in the description below if you need it. All right, anyways, next, after you go ahead and download it, make sure you install it, and then go ahead and open it up by just double clicking on it, and then go ahead and make a new base plate, okay? If you guys don't see this, then just click on new right here, and it'll bring you up to all like the templates you can make, but we're not gonna use a template, we're gonna make a basic base plate from scratch with nothing in it, but just one big base plate, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click base plate, okay? Next, we need to go ahead and actually start doing stuff, okay? So for this game, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a simple obby with maybe one or two scripts. Now this video is basically for someone who's very new to Roblox Studio and doesn't know how to make a game and they just wanna learn the basics. This is what I'll be teaching in today's video. But if you wanna learn about scripting, I do have a bunch of tutorials on that, but I'll explain that more later. All right, anyways, so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is go ahead and insert our first part, okay? Now you may be wondering what all this stuff is. It might look kind of, it might look kind of confusing right now, but don't worry, it's just a bunch of things where you can like basically access data and stuff like that. All right, so I'll explain each of these in a second here, but first let's go ahead and insert a part just so we can actually start getting the ball rolling, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and double click this up here. If, it, if you don't see it, then go ahead and double click one of these buttons up here, and then you can go ahead and click part, and then part will be there, okay? Now, this part is right here, and what you can do with this part, obviously, is you can change the size of it, you can change the color of it, you can do so much to this part, and that, that's why Roblox Studio is so awesome, right? It allows you to make games from scratch with, with, very, with very little to no effort. You know, it's, it's very simple um, to learn. Anyways, now, okay, what am I doing right now? Okay, I'm scaling it around. I'm sorry, I'm going a little fast, but there's actually different tools you can use under Roblox to actually move your parts, okay? So if I go ahead and click the Move tool, up here on the home tab make sure you're on the tab the home tab you can actually move it by grabbing these arrows and it'll move just like that on that axis right and then if i grab the blue arrow it'll just move just like that and then if i grab the yellow arrow it'll or green arrow whatever color it is <laughs> it'll go just up and down like that right so that's what that does now if you just click on it and then you can if you click on it and just hold down your mouse you can actually move it around just like that but um you know using the arrows is, is useful too when you want to make it go up and stuff Anyways, that's how we do it, okay? So this is actually our first part right here. This is the first object we have in our game. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do too, actually, is I'm gonna go ahead and delete my base plate because we want an obby and we want to be able to fall down. We don't want a base plate, so I'm gonna delete it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, if you guys don't, if you guys don't see the uh, Explorer over here, then what you need to do is actually go to your View tab right here, and remember, double click it if it's not showing, and then go ahead and click on Explorer, okay? Now I clicked on it even when it was on, so it made it go away, but if it's off and you click on it, then it'll pop up somewhere. And you can actually even move these panels around, which is pretty cool too. Anyways, uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do though is just go in here in my workspace, as you can see, um, workspace, uh, and then I can go ahead to my base plate, which is this thing right here, this big uh, base plate. And I'm going to go ahead and actually delete the base plate because we don't want it here for now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And there we go. Now, if you may be wondering what all these other things are right here, like players, all this stuff right here, this is actually different services you have, which you can do stuff with. But I'm not going to go too much in depth in this video because this is a very basic video. But I will, if, if you want to learn about that, don't worry, you can. I have, I have more information about that in the end. Anyways, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now though is go ahead and go here to my part, okay? And I'm gonna make sure I first of all anchor it, okay? Because what happens if you don't anchor a part, what's gonna happen is, is that it'll actually just fall out of the map, okay? So if, if I left this unanchored, the part would just fall. But if I anchor it, it'll stay where it is in the map, okay? So like here, look, let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play here. Uh, I'm gonna, actually let me insert a spawn point. Um, one second. Okay, so uh, I can go to actually model right here, hit spawn, and there you go. I'll spawn here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put the base plate back real quick. <laughs> um, one second. Uh, if you guys press Control Z, it'll actually put stuff back. So I'm gonna put it back just for one second, uh, just so I can show you what I mean. So if I move this part up right here, right, 
and then I uh, have this unanchored, okay, because this is my properties down here. This is where I can change a bunch of the values, like the color, the material, all that stuff. If I make it unanchored, it'll just fall down. So watch this, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and go to my home tab here and then just click this and press run. And then um, that way I don't spawn in, just the game runs. And as you can see, it fell down just like that, right? It just fell down. But if I anchor it, okay, if I anchor the part, and then I hit run. What's going to happen is it's actually it's not going to it's not going to fall down. It's going to stay right where it is. So as you can see here, it's right where it is. It's not falling down. The game's running, but it's just staying there because I anchored it. So you want to make sure we anchor our parts, or else we're going to fall off the map. <laughs> so definitely do that. Okay. Anyways, uh, one more quick feature I need to explain about this too is you have things like can collide, which is pretty cool because what it actually does here, as you can see in the behavior, is there's something called can collide, and you can check it on or off. And basically, what that means is if you have can collide off. What's going to happen is you will walk through it, okay? So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, just like that. Um, let me go to my scale tool right here. And then let me go ahead and actually spawn in. I'm going to go ahead and hit play right here. Or, or pre-compress F5 on your keyboard as well. But I'm going to go ahead and spawn in. And there you go. I'm already in my own game, which is kind of cool. And now since can collide is off, I can walk through the part. So we don't want that, at least not yet. Uh, so we want to make sure can collide's on as well. So make sure you anchor your part and have can collide on. All right, anyways, what we're going to go ahead and do now is delete our base plate again. And now we have our basic starting point for our obby. Okay. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put this here as like the little spawn area. So this is like our little spawn plate, I guess. <laughs> um, so we'll just leave it like there. And then we're going to go ahead and insert a a quick thing right here we'll insert a spawn actually an actual spawn location so if you go to your models tab up here and hit spawn uh this is like a little spawn point where people can where people will now will spawn at so they won't spawn like off the map or anything so that's important make sure you put that there okay anyways so now what we're going to do is make it a little bit bigger and then we're going to go ahead and start making a little obstacle course because this is an obby okay now, okay, so what I'm going to do first is go ahead and click part again up here, and then I enter into that part. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and press control 2, actually. It's an easy way to get the move tool. Unless you want to go up there and click it, you can. Um, and then you can get the move tool, and then you can go ahead and move the part over here. And remember, if you mess up, just make sure you can you can always do control Z or that control Y to redo. Um, but control Z undo something. So, yeah. Anyways, so now we're going to go ahead and move this around here. Move it right here. There we go. And there we go. Now we have a little part that you can jump to. And we'll make this a different color so it's more nice to look at. Okay. Uh, also, one quick thing too. We need to make sure we anchor our part. That could be bad. And now, since I don't want to actually have to keep inserting a part and then scaling it up and then, you know, moving it around and then anchoring again, what I can actually do is, if I go ahead and click on this part and delete it, what I can do is I can actually just duplicate my parts. So if I press Control D, what happened just now was I duplicated my part. Now, you didn't see it because it's, it duplicated inside itself, but I press Control D, and now what happened is I duplicated the part. Now, you actually might, the part might go on top of itself, but if what, what that means is that just, that means you have collisions on. So if you have collisions on and you press, um, you press, D or sorry, Control D. It'll um, put on top of each other, so it actually it will collide in workspace. So I see I can't move this now um, through this part because my collisions are on up here. So make sure you turn that off if that's on um, because it's kind of annoying. Anyways, so now that I have my part here, I'm just gonna keep moving it around. Okay, there we go. Move it right there. Okay, we're making a little obby. Remember, because our player's gonna jump through here. It's an obstacle course. Um, okay. And there we go. All right, so that will be our first level type thing, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and actually go to our little base play right here, whatever this thing is. And then I'm going to press Control D on this, and then I'll move this over here as well because, um, you know, that that'll be where we can like sort of get catch our breath, right? Okay, so that was our first level, just a simple jumping obby. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually make a little guessing game. Okay, if you know what I mean by this, um, this won't require any scripts, but we will require, we'll just change a property. But, uh, oh, also, I guess I didn't really show you how to change the color, but basically you just go to your properties and then click this and then you can change the color wherever you want. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyways, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is actually change the, um, or we're, we're going to make a little lobby, or not, sorry, not lobby. We're going to make a little guessing game level, okay? So I, what I just did was I duplicated my part here, and I'm going to drag it back out, and then I press Control R to rotate it. And then also, if you want to rotate, you can actually press the rotate tool. But Control R just rotates it easily. So I press Control R. And then I'm going to move it right here, about there. And that should be good. And now I'm going to duplicate it again, right there, and again, right there. All right. So what I have here is I have three little bridges, okay? Let me make sure you make them a little bit longer. Uh, my bad. 
Okay, so I have three little bridges, okay? Now what these are, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make them, uh, or at least one of them, um, okay, we're, we're gonna make two of them not, or can collide off. So what that means is it, they're gonna fall through if they step on it. Basically, they're gonna go through the part. So they're gonna have to get lucky and guess which part it is, okay? So what we're gonna do for that is, actually, I wanna change the colors so that we can distinguish. Um, there we go. And we'll pick up blue. All right. So what we're gonna have to do, or what they're gonna have to do, is pick the right one. If they if they mess up, they fall, and they have to go all the way back to the start. Okay. So what we're gonna do is actually click on one of these right here, and I'm gonna make this can collide off, and then I'll make this can collide off. So then the middle one will be the one you have to walk through. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and duplicate our little remember our little level breaker, I guess, and then and we can move it over here and that will be the end of that level so there we go we already have two levels in our game which is honestly pretty cool and i should make them a little bit longer so it looks nicer um but yeah and then we're gonna go ahead and actually make one more level in our obby and then we'll be complete and that's going to be a kill part level. So what that means is, uh, you know sometimes in obbies you have like little red parts that kill you when you touch them? That's what we're going to do. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, uh, um, go ahead and grab this part over here again, duplicate it, drag it over, uh, press Control G to duplicate. And then we're going to go ahead and actually make this like, okay, here. We're going to make this a little level distinguisher right there. And that's gonna be the level. And then I'm gonna I just duplicate it again, and I'm gonna scale it smaller. Like that. And then that should be good. And then I'll make it red. And that we that way we know it's a kill part. Alright, now what we can actually do though is make it actually kill us. So how do we do that? Well, we have to use some code, okay? We have to program. And now this is where Roblox games get hard, okay? Well they don't get that hard, but this is where people normally get confused and back off. But don't worry guys, program is actually really simple. It's not that difficult. So what we're gonna do is actually make a couple lines script and that'll be uh, enough for this. So you can copy me, but if you don't understand, that's fine. It's your first script ever, but I'm gonna try to explain it the best I can for a beginner, okay? So what I just did was, I'm um, sorry, I went a little fast there. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a script into my part. So this is my part right here. I'm gonna click on it, and that way I see it right there in my Explorer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus, and then type script, okay? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is insert a script, and now I have a script, which is the child of the part, okay? Because like it's like under it, so it's like a little baby, right? It's a child. And then that means, well, if, okay, if the script is a child, then that means the part is the parent, right? That makes sense. All right, so what we're gonna do actually is, we're gonna do, we're gonna do script dot parent, okay? Um, because we want to get our parent, and then we're gonna do dot touched, right? Which is an event, and then we're gonna connect a little function to it, okay? And then we're gonna make sure we we kill him right here, okay? So what I just did was I did the script dot parent, which is like the parent right there, and then I'm if it's touched, so we're gonna do dot touched, and then we're connecting a we're connecting a function. Um, which will write right here the code that we want to, to do. So what we want it to do is actually kill the person or do damage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do if, uh, or not sorry, not if, we're gonna go ahead and do, um, yes, actually we're gonna do if. We're gonna do if, uh, oh crap, we need to put hit in here too. I'm gonna put hit in here, which basically is gonna make it so the part that hit it, it we're gonna know what part it is. So if hit.parent, uh, find first child humanoid, uh, then, Humanoid dot health is equal to human or is equal to zero. Okay. All right. We're gonna do actually. Sorry. Hit dot parent dot humanoid. Okay. So what I just did was I know this might be a little confusing, but this is this is a very beginner tutorial. But I basically just I was I did if hit dot parent find first child humanoid. So I was just checking to make sure it's a uh, it's actually a character because like a part could touch it, right? And then we'd actually get an error because we're trying to set the humanoid health to zero. So we're just making sure it's a humanoid that touched it or a human. And then we're just setting the um, humanoid health to zero. So we're killing them basically. Um, so yeah, I know this might not be too much explanation, but don't worry if you guys want to, if you guys do want to learn about scripting, I have a very, very beginner tutorial that teaches you just from the basics if you have no knowledge. And that will be linked in the description below as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and duplicate this part a little bit more and there we go there we go there we go so just so they have to like jump over it right uh, so it'll be kind of hard and then we're gonna go ahead and duplicate our little ending base plate and then this will be it this will be the winners section okay so I'm gonna go ahead and make this like a but there we go this is it this is the whole lobby if they do this part right here or if they make it past there then they win okay it was that easy so yeah that's pretty cool
Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and test it out real quick, and then we'll see if it works. All right, so go ahead and hit play up here, and then you'll load in, and as you can see, you should spawn here, and then we're in our game, okay? So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Oh, okay, we're doing it, we're doing it, and okay, we gotta go all the way over here, all the way over here, let's go, let's go. And then we know what the middle, okay, we cheated because you know it's the middle one, but, uh, <laughs> you know, other people won't know. And then we gotta jump over these parts or else they're gonna kill us. Oh, crap, I messed up and I died. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you make this. And if you do wanna let your friends play this game, all you have to do is go, and go up to here to file and then publish to Roblox. And then what's gonna happen is, is that you're actually gonna put it on Roblox and then it'll give you a little, or hit create new place right here. Okay, and then we're gonna name it uh, my first obby or whatever you wanna call it. And then we'll make it public so all our friends can play it. And then we're gonna hit create place. And then we will have our obby right here. And we hit next and we have a link. So you can send this link to any of your friends and then they can play the game if they want. It's really cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you, or I'll go ahead and paste it up here. And here we go, this is our game. It's literally right here. That is literally so awesome. Just like that in 15 minutes we created a game. Alright guys, so anyways, that is the end of the video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did like always, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. And if you are new to scripting, then make sure to actually subscribe so you watch more scripting tutorials by me. But also check out my beginner series, okay? If you have no knowledge, you can learn how to script from literally just the basics with no experience at all. There are links to that in the description below. Alright guys, anyways, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.